Art speaks of who we are at our very best. It speaks of our heart. And you go into a museum and you can see that over and over again, that divine spark, that humanness, that heart. Sam has the uh, national collection. It represents who we are as Americans at our best. And I'd like to be part of that. Who wouldn't? Everybody should paint. It's good for the soul. I think the world would be a better place if everybody made some sort of art if not painting something, you know? The next painting I do, I haven't started yet. I'm going to do a, a scene from uh, the North Ridge of the Grand Canyon. It's important that I experience places. It's like, if you haven't been there, you don't know how it smells. You don't know how it really looks. And I do take photographs, a lot of photographs, a lot of drawing. Another reason I like traveling to these remote areas is that there is a silence that we never have here, never. I want to show you some photographs of that same scene that you just saw the, the painting of. I make a collage out of the photographs. So, um, this is the, the South Rim. I think the patterns are not only an indication of the people who live in that area, they're also beautiful. And this pattern is a havasupai. To have this rather static, bold pattern against this very biomorphic, very naturalistic shapes, I like the way it plays against one another. I want people to stop and think about the fact that this is native territory. Of course, it's thought of as national park land, but it was Indian nation land, you know. And I also want people to think about how beautiful our land is, how, how beautiful our planet is. My paintings are about a slow gaze and experiencing the quiet and solitude of a place. This is the Atlantic Ocean. It's called Seal Rock Storm how absolutely beautiful the ocean is and how complex. It's challenging and I like challenges. May I show you something? I did this, let's hang it up. I did this in 81. It's a painting on paper. I did one a day for a number of months. about 40 years, isn't it, between those two paintings? It's sort of stunning, isn't it, the difference? Throughout my career, I keep doing different things and trying different things and trying different subjects and uh, because it seems like it's keeping me alive. You know, it's, it's stimulating to have, be challenged by something as complex as the Grand Canyon, or even the ocean. I think we put everything we are in the paintings, um, so that whatever you are at that moment is coming through. I had a show in, at the National Museum of the American Indian and people would cry. And it was kind of stunning to me because 
What did I do to convey those feelings? How does a painter put that into the painting? I know that painting is an intense experience. Putting paint on a canvas, mixing those colors, putting it on, moving it around, that's an intense experience. Somehow you can express the divine or something perhaps touching the divine. I have no idea how. I've just been doing it for 60 years. <laughs>